Hey, rem remember how I was saying earlier that there are definitely no more vehicle levels in the game? I, I just want to reiterate, there are definitely no more vehicle levels in Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back. And the name Falcon Flight definitely does not suggest we will be flying around in the Millennium Falcon. Am I going to be flying around in my own Millennium Falcon? I don't know. Probably. That's typically how these things tend to work. Maybe you'll be Luke for no reason. That doesn't make any sense at all. Well... Also, I believe... Did I say that you were lying to me when you said that? I wasn't lying. Yeah, you were. I was just wrong. <laughs> oh, those cruisers are dead. Yeah, they'll be fine. As long as we destroy the six. Okay, apparently I, I am ran Luke. Luke. Well, you're an a random X-wing. I'm X -wing. a random X-wing. Actually, no, that didn't. That, that did a thingy. X-wing. I'm literally just a random X-wing. Well, it's okay. When Luke was in the X-wing, he was also just X-wing. Actually, I don't remember there being any sp uh, cruisers in orbit around Hoth in the movie. I got blown up by something. Okay. Oh yeah, there actually are little turrets that take a whole lot of hits on these things, and they drop studs. Everything drops studs. So yeah, we're, we're like in all vehicle levels on an invisible plane, which is really hard to see. Yeah. And understand. And our goal is to shoot out all the little turrets on the um, Star Destroyers. Or are they Super Star Destroyers? I don't know. These just look like Star Destroyers. They're way too small to be Super Star Destroyers. Uh... I don't know if there's anything Lego ha Oh, maybe that is. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, it is a little... No, it wasn't. It's those things. Okay, it's, it's those it's, things it's, right there. It's the lasers. The yeah. turbo lasers. Okay, we did it. Yay. Yay, Imperial Fleet saved. Wait, what? Um, you mean Rebel Fleet saved. We're, we're the Rebels. Oh. They're well... The, they're the Imperials. Yeah, but you notice that the uh, Rebels are all dead, so... Yeah... We're fine. It's all good. Why aren't the asteroids made out of Legos? Now, if No Man's Sky has taught me anything, asteroids are made out of starship fuel. Yeah. Oh wait, I guess they're actually made out of studs. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, so you're, you're we are going to do it. We are going to do it. Yeah. So I didn't hadn't unlocked Toe Death Star before, so now we're going to turn it on. And now the little pink thing I'm towing is a miniature Death Star. Oh, it's no, it's no, it isn't. These are the proton torpedoes. Oh I darn! It would have been the mines. Yeah. Oh. Um, so yeah, we have to kill certain ships to get proton torpedoes. I, and then waste they them? They spawn infinitely. At some point, we're going to, like, you'll know when you need to shoot them because purple things will show up to tell you. Okay. Welcome and to the, uh, is... that is the door to make sure that you can't complete everything in, uh, in, in story, story mode. mode. Yeah, so that requires the, uh, TIE fighter or some crap like that. I don't know, what's this reminding me of? The Any asteroid level in Star Fox where differently colored asteroids you can shoot for some reason. Well, yeah, this one you're not actually shooting like Lego asteroids? Wait, wait, power up. Yay, I got it. No, I got it, you. jerk. Uh, you did, yes. Oh, there we go. See purple things back there, so we need yep. to get close enough and then press button. And I guess we actually do need to blow them all up. And you know, so there's just enough of them to make it so that if you're playing a single player, you would have to go do this twice. Yes, I see that. However, we are not doing a single player. Yep. I feel like the scale's a little off between the X-Wing and the Millennium Falcon, but whatever. I'm gonna go steal your uh, stuff. I think it's pretty accurate for the Lego models of them. Well, you have one... No, yeah, you do. You have an X-wing somewhere. Uh, oh, it's behind the door, so oh. I mean, it is up there. Okay. This is probably not helping, but um, Xenoveritus has a Millennium Falcon, uh, the modified Imperial Tie Fighter, Darth Vader's, and a Y-wing and an X-wing on his mantle or shelf or whatever the heck that is. 
It's actually like an experimental TIE Fighter or something. Experimental? I don't know. It's his modified TIE Fighter. I thought that was what it was called. And I'm pulling that from my vast knowledge of playing X-Wing versus TIE Fighter. Like, those are TIE Interceptors. Those are TIE Advances. Oh, yeah. Interceptors. Those are TIE yes. Interceptors. They're um, actually pretty weak. Yeah, Vader's custom TIE was something like a TIE... Uh, it has a model number. Yeah. It's like an X-1 or something. Yeah. We, you know, we could ignore was, these TIE Fighters. And... It was already in a pop-up. Oh, shit. No, we can't. No? Uh, Why not? Well, cause, all right. Oh, you don't have any. Well, oh. let me go fire mine. Yeah. Or nope, that's the barrel roll. But yeah, um, the tie bombers, if I'm not mistaken, are what drop the purple things. Ah. Because you know, bombers, proton torpedoes, same thing. I kind of want to play X-wing versus Tie Fighter again. Damn it. Yeah, maybe we can do that as a special between for story and free play thing. You'd have to buy it. I'd have to buy it. Um, sure help if I can remember... Oh, there was one of them. It would sure help if this wasn't in Tudo 3D. Maybe it is just destroying the mines, or the... Some of it was just, yeah, from destroying these things. Well, I guess, no... I, I mean, guess that's where I keep my proton torpedoes, is in yeah, asteroids. In Damn Especially it. colored asteroids, because, yeah. Well. Oh, it's sad. Now they mentioned that this game doesn't make a ton of sense. Alright, it's up to you. Oh, there's only one left. Yeah, that was definitely worth spending all that time on. Hey, it's your time, not mine. Oh. Well, okay. You got a oh, I got a mini kit, which means I already. And a bunch of studs, and a bunch of studs, come on. Don't tell yourself short. Now just don't die. Yes, there's a chance of not dying. Oh, don't tell me. <sighs> okay. Fine. I'm, I'm pretty sure. The answer is yes. We have to fly back out to the asteroid field to get the asteroids to get more proton torpedoes. This is exciting. Because this makes sense in, in the Star Wars universe. Everyone remembers that traumatic battle, the thingy in the asteroids where they had to take the time out to fly backwards to backtrack to get more proton torpedoes, which don't seem to be spawning. Once you start adding game mechanics and anything, narrative starts breaking down. Okay. Um, did I miss something? Was there a proton torpedo spawner in there somewhere? No. No, wait, no, I do see a little. I got one. And you're gonna die. And it's really not avoidable. Let's collect your set again. What do the TIE Bombers look like? No, I, I think I was wrong about the, there being TIE Yeah, bombers. yeah, you, you probably were. Okay, so when you destroy the asteroids, right, it breaks apart into other LEGO pieces. You have to destroy those other LEGO pieces to get the proton torpedoes. See? So break one of those apart and see how it breaks into LEGO pieces. You have to destroy those. Destroy those, and that'll give you the proton torpedoes. On the right, plus side, it does appear that we essentially have infinite yeah. studs. Oh, no, we need another... We need another one. Uh, because we need five to get through it. You're right, we do appear to have infinite studs. That's interesting. Ah, no, they're gonna... Damn, I I, I'm full. I know, but I'm not. All right. And the problem is we need five, and I only have one. And every time I get near one, like... Okay. We're good, we're good. We're yeah, good. let's go. I got three. Just don't miss. Well, no, we can miss... Do a barrel roll. Once. What's on a barrel roll? What was that? Ah. Yeah, so the way you do the, the flippy thing is you just go backwards on top of yourself, except sometimes apparently you just instead make... Turn into a wall. Well, notice that also they have arrow, arrow long rolls. 
Someone else can say that better. Spaceships wouldn't have aileron, ailerons. Okay, I fired all mine. Just one left to go. Yep. Hear me, baby. Hold together. Oh wait, that is this level, I think. Uh, that was in the first movie. Okay. A new hope. You're gonna put my Star Wars knowledge to test, aren't you? Well, yeah. Oh, now we have to shoot the proton torpedoes on a thing that's rotating. That's cool. This is cool. Which would be, like, difficult if they didn't home. Yeah. But they home. But they home. Kind of makes me what the point of that was. Alright, we're almost there. We're almost true Jedi, even though there are no Jedi present. Ba-boom. Ah, one more. Actually, at this point, there are no Jedi left at all. Except for Yoda. Uh, that's true. Yoda's and all yet. the random. I mean, spoiler alert. That still exist in the uh, expanded, expanded universe. universe. Yeah, for now. We don't count those. Hit, 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 hit. There we go. Oh, so another one. It's okay, I press the B button, and there it goes. But it's gonna miss because it went around. Is it B? I suppose it is B. Yes, this is good gameplay and not really obnoxious. No, it's not. It's really obnoxious. I don't know what, what made you think that. Oh, I ran into the asteroid again. That's cool. This is cool. I'm okay, I can see the ball. Oh, right, did that? Did that? Was that? I don't know. Something happens. Oh, no. There's another purple thingy coming in the bottom. Okay. All right. Fired. Come on, fire and forget. Oh, I keep on crashing into the asteroid. That's why I have 4,000 studs And there's left. another one. <laughs> oh, come on. I saw the purple sphere. Damn it. I don't know why um, Star Wars games feel the need to always have these rail okay, shooter segments. But even the freaking MMO had a rail shooter segment. Oh, we're going to go back to the movie briefly. Oh, yeah. All the random stuff and a gonk droid. Right. Was he in the... Oh, that's it? Oh, I guess we're gonna skip the whole... Oh, I guess the, 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 the like, iconic asteroid monster just doesn't exist. Okay. I mean, it's only a little iconic. Okay, and, and now, uh... Oh, I guess, yeah, he did exist in the uh, huh? original movie. Uh, but, wait, no, he didn't! Who? Boba Fett. Boba Fett was added in Empire Strikes Back, yeah. Was he? I think so. Oh, because I think he shows up on, on... I thought he showed up on Vespin on Cloud City. Yes, Vespa Cloud City is in Empire Strikes Back, which is which yeah. is the movie we're playing right now. Yeah, no, we're going to get there. Right. Oh, no, no, he was on... Okay, so there's a brief scene, and it may be only in the special edition, where... Uh, um, but, 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 who, what's his name? Darth Vader's like, well, cause, like find them to a bunch of bounty hunters. Yeah, okay. Because uh, Boba Fett, as I recall, was introduced in the Christmas special, and I thought oh that my God, was between seriously? yes, Empire Strikes Back and um, uh, Return of the Jedi. But I'm not sure. No, because uh, he was in because he was one of the bounty hunters that uh, Darth Vader hired. Okay. But well, that may have been special edition only, so you might be right. We'll Oops. find out. Well, I'm sure the Wikipedia will tell us, and there will be. Oh my a god, the Wikipedia explained. will tell you beyond that. All right, let's go. Let's go.